One of our core products uh, is mechanical seals, and we're here today to talk about different types of mechanical seals that mm -hmm. we offer. Kevin, can you give us an overview of some of the main types of mechanical seals that we design? So with mechanical seals, there's typically two main types. You've got face seals and circumferential seals. Primary type is face seals. You typically have a couple different varieties. You've got contacting and non-contacting face seals. With face seals, it's more of a, a sealing system where you have a stationary component coupled with a matched rotating component. And the two working together actually provide the, the sealing element in the system. With a contacting face seal, uh, you're typically in your applications where long life is not as critical. Friction uh, generates heat. Heat reduces the life of the seal. When you're talking about face seals, you know, you've got your contacting face seal. If you get into more extreme applications where li the life of the seal is more critical, a lot of times you'll move to what we call a hydrodynamic seal or a non-contacting seal or a liftoff seal. What we have is the same type of sealing system, but we have on the rotating element um, some type of groove that is going to create a, a pumping action and pump air and oil between the faces and actually create a separation. You're actually creating much less friction and generating much less heat and in turn creating a much longer life for the seal. Yeah, those seals are really phenomenal and we've, we've been able to leverage that technology to solve some really challenging sealing applications. And I think sometimes it's difficult for folks to understand what exactly is happening in a liftoff seal. And I always love the analogy of a car driving down a, a wet road and the concept of hydroplaning, mm -hmm. right? Where that tire is now getting up on top of that thin film of water and riding on that film of water. That's effectively what we're doing with a liftoff type seal, right? Mm -hmm. We're creating a, a high pressure film of air to separate those t the, the rotating face from the stationary face. All right. Yeah, that's a great explanation. So we talked about face seals, and you mentioned earlier circumferential is the other type that we typically work on. Can right. you talk about how those work? Yeah, so in a circumferential seal, you're essentially sealing radially instead of axially as you are with a face seal. Circumferential seals, there's, there's generally two types. There's a control gap seal, which is a seal just like the name implies, where you're sealing around a rotating shaft, but you're actually, you've got a very finely tuned very tightly toleranced uh, clearance between the shaft and the seal. So it's more of a controlled leakage. The applications that are using those types of seals can tolerate more leakage than your typical face seal application. Okay. So when we talked about a hydrodynamic face seal, mm -hmm. we're actually creating a pumping action to create that separation. Mm -hmm. But with a controlled gap seal, we're designing in a clearance. We're ensuring that there's clearance between the rotating component and the stationary component. Yep. Interesting. Yeah, so with a control gap seal, it's, it's absolutely critical that your coefficients of thermal expansion of the materials in the seal and the materials of the shaft and, and the surrounding components grow at the same rate. So in order to maintain that clearance, everything has to be matched and you know, materials have to be chosen properly. Um, that way you maintain a consistent amount of leakage throughout the system. And you know, when you're designing that system, you know exactly how much it's going to leak and you can actually accommodate for that okay. and plan for that. So face seals are used in rotating assemblies mm -hmm. uh, where we are trying to seal axially. Right. And then we have circumferential seals also used in rotating assemblies where we are trying to seal in the radial direction, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. Awesome. So are there any other types of mechanical seals that we offer? Yeah, there's one more I forgot to mention, and that's uh, fractured ring seals. It's um, a seal that's typically used in you know, very specific applications for space. You know, for instance, uh, turbo pump applications use them frequently. Essentially what you're looking at there is, again, a, a circumferential seal, so you're sealing radially, but you've got a, a carbon component that's not one piece. It's actually fractured into several pieces, and typically you're holding forces around the rotating shaft with some type of spring. And what that allows it to do is the same thing with the control gap seal, allows the materials and the seal to grow with the shaft as it as it heats up and cools down. Okay. You, you're able to maintain that contact. Well, thanks so much, Kevin, for that overview. I really appreciate it. And thank you all for watching. Yeah, absolutely.